Club today, you guys. We love Sam's Club. You guys know we love Sam's Club. But as you can see, we're not in the car and we're not at the store. We Instacarted it this time because we needed something convenient, so. And we have been crazy busy. Life has been crazy, especially getting ready for back to school stuff, getting the kids all ready to go and things like that. We're like, you know what? We're not even gonna go in the store today. We are gonna Instacart all this stuff, have it delivered, and then we're gonna show you guys everything that we got. So before we get started into showing you guys all the groceries, we have to tell you guys that this video is in collaboration with a channel from people who just moved to Vegas, you guys, so stay tuned. There might be more collabs after this, but we are collabing with Christy from Christy Gior, which is her last name, so her channel is called Christy Gior. They went and did a back to school Costco haul. We are doing a back to school Sam's Club haul. So I'm curious, you guys, if you watch both of our videos, how many items are similar? That's what I'm curious about. So let us know down below if you've watched both videos and which items are similar. Okay, I fell in love with her channel, you guys, when I was first introduced to her channel because she was a fostering mom turned adoptive mom and she has five beautiful kids that she has adopted, her and her husband, and they are the cutest family. So when she contacted us and told us she was moving to Vegas, we are like, all right, we got Let's you. do this. They love Filipino food. They love all the things that we love. So we're like, <laughs> let's collab, let's meet up. So you guys, this is probably one of many collabs that we will be doing with them. So, so make sure you guys are following her over on her channel. We will link it down below. Christy Gior, you guys are gonna love her. You guys, grocery hauls. The, the cool thing is, we are originally from California. Yes. Moved to Vegas. Yes. They from California moved to Vegas. Yeah. We, I, adopted Brayden and Ashlyn. Yes. And they are adoptive parents as well. Yes. So you guys, there's similarities. We can't wait to actually meet up with them and in do person. a like in-person collab. And I have a feeling if we do meet up in person, there's gonna be food involved. Oh, there and has I, to be food involved. And there just might be <laughs> Filipino food involved. Yes, yeah, she so. was already like, I'll make you guys some Filipino food. I'm like, you know how to make Filipino food okay, over there. Okay, you <laughs> make it, we're good at eating it. <laughs> we'll be there. And, and for those of you who are new to this channel, coming over from Christy Gior's channel, you guys, welcome. we welcome. Yes. Welcome to the fam bam. Oh no, no, no you... <laughs> Yes, go. Welcome to the fam bam. <laughs> Leave in the comments below if you're new. <laughs> Welcome to the fam bam. Now you know, I don't know. I don't know. Fam bammers, help us out. <laughs> we suck at singing, if you can't tell. So, for those of you who are new, we have a couple channels. We have Phillips Fam Bam, which is here, which yes. we have more of our family vlogs, grocery hauls, kind of lifestyle, back yeah. to school stuff. And then we also have Phillips Fam Bam Foodies. Foodies. Because yeah. as you, <laughs> yes, we love food, and as you will see from this grocery haul, we um, like food a lot. Some of it's healthy, some of it's, m most of it's not. No, stop it. It's a, <laughs> it's a good, even balance-ish. Yeah. <laughs> Depends on the day, really. <laughs> yes, oh, and by the way, this grocery haul, it's going to be long. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we do it. That is the thing, you guys, stick around. We always tell our viewers, grab a snack, because we show you guys everything we got, kind of talk about how we use it, we joke around a little bit, we just like to have fun, hang out with you guys, and uh, just enjoy watching. And I'll let you guys know, you guys, for those of you who are new, Fan Bammers, our Fan Bammers already know, for every grocery haul, we give away some money! money. <laughs> you get some money, you get some money, you get some okay, money! Okay, not like that. Okay, we're not Oprah, okay? <laughs> But we do try to do $25 every- 25 to 50. 25 to 50, depending on our mood, how we feel, our finances, <laughs> um, in every grocery haul. We try to give something back to you guys. So make sure you stick around till the end, or in the middle, we don't know where it's at, we're not gonna tell you, um, to let you know how to enter into the giveaway. So a lot of the stuff you guys that we bought, as you guys saw from the title, this is kind of a back to school grocery haul. So. We did get a lot of things that the kids can eat for lunches and stuff, but we also did get a few things that I can um, um, have them snack on, but also we need dinners during back to school and be prepared for all the dinners that we have to make, crock pot meals, all that. So we did grab a variety of different things, but the bulk of it is gonna be a lot of like what the kids are gonna be eating for snacks or you know whatever. Comment down below and let us know if your kids are going homeschool, distance learning, or 
going to school, hybrid. Yeah. Our kids are all gonna be online school. So for those of you who don't know, they will all be here upstairs in the loft and so we will be doing a lot of the snacks, lunches, all that stuff. Go so. check out that makeover. We just made a workspace for them. It turned out so good. So fun. So good, okay, here we go. Okay, so first up, we're gonna start with the dry ingredients because I put the fridge ingredients in the fridge. We'll take those out in a minute. But Hormel chili. Ooh. So these are good, just, okay, so no beans and that's how we like it. Which, so I was pleased to see that there were, like these were in bulk at Sam's Club because we've never gotten them there before. We always get like three or four cans at the store but it's nice to have it like this because we, We'll just cook up a bowl of the chili with like saltine crackers or just chips and dip it and yep. eat it. Or we put it on our hot dogs. Hot dogs. Or we'll put it in a bag of Doritos and oh. do like walking tacos walking with cheese. Tacos. Yeah, yep, so that's true. So good. That is what's kind of cool too about the kids being home from school is we can kind of get a little bit more creative with lunches. It's not always gonna be like a sandwich type day. So we can do different things like this. So anyways, here's that. Then we also got, I'm just not gonna go in any particular order. I'm just gonna grab as I go. We got some apples, we got the honey crisp, and we got the Granny Smith. These, in my opinion, are the two best kind of apples you can get. I got a test for you. Uh-oh. How do you say apple in Spanish? Apollie. <laughs> It. Give me a clue. Okay, it has nothing to do with the word in English. <laughs> <laughs> no, give me another clue. Manzana. Oh, that's not a clue. You gave it away. <laughs> oh, this is a can't be an hour long Manzana. show. Manzana. 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 Like oh, sauna. not sauna. You should have said it's like a sauna. <laughs> a man in a sauna. Manzana. Manzana. <laughs> <laughs> I'll remember it now. <laughs> Test me later. All right. <laughs> okay. So we got those two big bags of apples. Our kids go through a lot of apples. They love them for snacks or whatever. Cantaloupe. We love cantaloupe. Um, these are hit or miss. That's Ethan mainly. Yeah, Ethan loves cantaloupe. I love it too with a little bit of salt. Oh, so good. Has to be like cold, cold. It does have to be cold. I agree with you 100% on that. So um, that's the thing with Instacart, you guys. You can't really pick your own fruit and like veggies, produce stuff, but They've done a pretty good job. Like I haven't really had any issues with them picking bad fruit or anything like that. So um, this looks pretty good. We'll open that up a little later this week. And keep in mind, Sam's Club still does have the scan and go, which is very convenient. We've you used can, it many times. And then also depending on your membership, you can also order and pick up. Yes. So those are other, uh, other options that you have at Sam's Club that we have done grocery hauls showing you that. Which I'm so grateful for, especially right now. I feel like time's gonna be limited with helping the kids and like being able to get out and go grocery shop, whatever. Yeah. That I'm like, these convenient ways like help me so much. There was even a grocery haul where we showed up to Sam's, got out of the car, hit the stopwatch, got in, came back out, hit the stopwatch, <laughs> to see how long it was. I can't remember. I don't know, true fan bammers, comment down below if you remember how long it took us to pick up our food, our groceries, and get them to the car. Yeah, it wasn't very long. No. That's for sure, so. Okay, anyways, moving on, you guys. We got some green grapes. We love to snack on grapes. We love to freeze grapes. These are delicious when they're frozen. So yeah, we just got a big thing of green grapes for them to kind of snack on and stuff. These are seedless. I don't like seeded grapes. I don't know why they, do people buy those? I don't know. I don't know. I do not buy seeded grapes, but seedless works. They're and good. you do freeze those. Yes, they're good. So usually we'll keep like half unfrozen and then we'll freeze the other half because Ashlyn will like down them too. So, and they're actually nice frozen in this Vegas heat. Okay, Rotel, we get eight cans of Rotel from Sam's Club. I use this mainly for goulash and the kids like goulash a lot. So I just like to stock up anytime I go just so we have it on hand. I don't have to worry about this ingredient being gone. You guys, this one I made a mistake. Oh my, what <laughs> is that? Does anybody want some green beans? <laughs> yeah, I know Emberlyn will. <laughs> she will. So the problem with this, this is fine because I'll find a way to save it, but I thought I was buying cans like the Rotel, but it was actually just one big fat can. Wow. So <laughs> it looks like we're gonna so, have some shepherd pie. Yeah, or I mean, we'll open it up and just, we'll save the rest of it. You know how that goes. So anyways, dummy me, I gotta look at the thing and see what it actually says. Wow. This is a 6.3 pound thing of uh, 
green beans. beans. So, what <laughs> new, we like green beans. What nutritional value do green beans give know. you? I don't think any. I think it's like corn. I think that's a lot. It's just it's just literally like a filler don't food. Don't say that because it's mainly the main vegetable I eat is corn and green beans. Oh wow. <laughs> Don't wow me. You don't even eat those. <laughs> I eat broccoli. Yeah, no, you don't. Yeah, I do. Panda Express, baby. <laughs> okay. These are a good snack. We got some graham crackers. This comes in four boxes inside. The kids will just have these as snacks or whatever. Oh, and they do like to do... Um, actually, I don't know if all the kids like to do it. Ashlyn, I think, does. Graham crackers Brady and milk. did. Graham crackers and milk. Crunch it up into a bowl. Pour the milk on top and they just Ooh, eat it. I did so it when good. I was a kid. They love it now. And we all know how what Tina thinks of milk. I hate milk, but I loved that growing up. Mm. Like, loved it. Maybe because it flavored the milk enough that it didn't taste like milk. I'm going to do a keep it or swap it with you on Fan Bam Foodies. No. And we're going to do this. What? Graham crackers with milk. Oh, okay. And see if we'll you... see if I still oh. like it. I haven't done it for a while, so... Ooh, I want to see that. Yeah, we'll find out. And we got some... Just two heads of lettuce. Iceberg lettuce. These are good just to chop up for tacos. Um sandwiches, salads, whatever, whatever you want. You guys know what lettuce is used for. Um, cucumber, oh, Danny's favorite. I hate those. These are actually so good. They're just expensive. Yes. So the bulk stores I've noticed that Costco and Sam's Club both only have like the English cucumbers. They don't have like the regular ones we usually buy, which I'm fine with. The these are good. I do like these. They just, they cost more. Straight up, Winco has the best priced cucumbers Ever. Anywhere. Yeah, anywhere. Like, we haven't been a 30 cents. Between 30 and 50 cents. Yeah. And they're like legit cucumbers. Yeah. They're not like soggy, nasty. And those little stringy weenies. <laughs> <laughs> These are not stringy weenies. <laughs> those little, th those thingies are like two bucks. I know. Wow. What a rip off. So yeah, we only grabbed three you guys because we are going to be doing a produce haul coming up at Sprouts because we're just gonna, we always need fresh produce. Like we go through that more than probably anything. So we tend to like get all of our groceries with some produce and then we do another trip for produce later on in the week. So there's those and then avocados. 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 So I actually got originally two bags of these and I took one off because I was like, you know what, we'll just, we'll eat these first. But I love avocados, salt, lemon, or lime, mm, it's so good. And going along with what you were saying, like that's one of the good things about ordering online is yes. that you can budget easier. So if you hit your budget, go over the budget, you start to delete. Yeah, what can I do away with? Which I did do that today. I actually took like quite a few things off because I was like, oh, I must've been hungry when I was yeah. doing this. So we spent $350. <laughs> yes. And we were like 350 with all fees, taxes included. Yeah, because it is let's, a little bit more with Instacart. Instacart. Yeah, so let's let's set a 350 budget, and so that's what we did. Yep, and we stuck to it. I did have to take a few things off because I was going crazy, but um, we got the essentials that we need for now. The other thing, our kids will eat these like candy. They absolutely love these cuties, mandarin oranges. So I love the big bags that come from Sam's Club and Costco, um, just because like. Even the oranges are, are a little bit bigger. They're just good. I've always just liked these ones. So, got a big bag of those. You know what though, with those, I need those to be cold also. Do Can, you? Yeah. Well, we'll have to put them in the fridge. Yeah, that then. would be nice. Because we always put them on top of the counter. The I know. The kids just grab them and eat them like that. Let us know, what do you guys do? Do you guys refrigerate yours? Or do you put yours on the counter? I'm curious. So, okay, then you guys, we also got, you guys know I love my Olive Garden dressing. This is so delicious. For those of you who don't know, one of my favorite go-to meals is frozen chicken in a crock pot with this poured on top. You guys, it's amazing. That's it. Like that is it and it is so flavorful. And I do not know any fam bammer that has tried it that, that has like not it liked it yeah. because they're just like oh my goodness my family loves this oh my goodness my kids are so picky and they love it yes they love love it and it's quick easy it's like the easiest thing to make and you can put it over rice oh it's so yummy so we so, do have a cook with me with that yes we do so you can always just we can either link it or you can um uh search it yeah really good go-to we like to stay stocked up on this so i love it because i think at Sam's Club and Costco, they have a two pack, which is nice. You guys, I do have to say, look at my beautiful wife. Mm. Look at her hair. You She's guys got are all like, take his compliments, ear, take his compliments. Her so earrings. Let's go, let's go. Okay, babe. Look, that, that orange oh. shirt to go with the calico, yeah. naranjas. I just wanted to match the oranges to yes. That was the real goal. <laughs> I 
All right, so we just ran out of that taco seasoning, remember? And so I had to get more. And I love, I love, love, love these more than I do getting the separate packets because this lasts forever. forever. Like forever, ever. Forever, forever ever? ever. Forever, ever. ever. <laughs> so I really love it. And we went through the other one. I, like I said, it really did last a long time. So I'm like, oh, time to stock up again. We won't have to for a while. So next up, you guys, moving on to like the bread stuff. So we've got 16 hot dog buns because you guys saw we got the chili. We did get some hot dogs too. Um, I, I needed buns. I have a, buns. an honest question. Oh, no. Maybe there's an answer oh, no. or some logic to this. Probably not. Why do the packs of hot dogs not equal the packs of buns? You know why. Why? They want more money. <laughs> they want you to buy more buns to have, I, I don't understand. I don't know, but once Same with hamburgers. Out, okay, when we pull out the hot dogs, let's see. Okay, We're how many are there? Right it's now. a pack of 16. Okay. Yeah, so they never match equally. Okay, so this has 16, this has 21. <laughs> they do not have a pack of 21 buns. Why do they do that? They want That's to buy my... more buns, hon. Why? Then you have more buns than hot dogs. Then you buy more hot dogs, you just gotta get more buns. That's they... the whole point. Oh. They just want you to keep buying and keep buying. They just want us to spend all of our money I... on hot dogs and buns for the rest of our lives. I know there's some logic to it that I'm not getting. Someone help me out, I don't think there please. Is. I don't think there's a logic. I think it's about money. I don't know. Maybe that is. <laughs> I have Maybe no that's idea. the logic. But I don't know. You guys, let us know in the comments. You guys are usually professionals. We're just here showing you food. So next up, keeping with the bread theme, we got, you guys know, Grandma Sycamore Bread, Boom Shakalaka. I love getting these from the bulk stores because I do feel like you save a little bit because it comes in the two pack. We got six loaves because school's starting. I'm going to probably do, be doing like like uh, French toast or toast with eggs and the kids will be having sandwiches more probably. So I wanted to stock up on the bread. You can always just throw some of these loaves into the freezer and then pull them out when you're ready for them. And so. I'll tell you right now, if you have never tried Grandma Sycamore bread, go try it because you will never go back. Never. It's so good. You will never go back to your other bread. This is the best the bread yeah. around. Yeah, we're kind of bread snobs. We'll spend a little bit extra on bread because we love it so much. And it actually took me a while because I was not a bread snob and I would go for the price it's bread. It's true. And it I would is. buy dollar bread. It's true. <laughs> now he's a bread snob. I am. And I kind of like it. So there's that. And then also. Wow, did you know? I did. What we the met. heck? Isn't that cute? What Look is this? this? Wow. <laughs> what big happy family. What? <laughs> I know. I missed the memo. Although, anytime I wear this, people are like, I love your red shirt. Does oh. it look red on camera? You're asking the wrong guy. I know, that's true. Danny's colorblind, for those of you who don't know. <laughs> so let us know, is my shirt orange or red? Because in real life, it's orange. It's orange. So, okay. King Hawaiian rolls, we love these. The kids will eat these plain. They will eat these with chicken on top. They will Sliders. These. Yeah, these are, we love these. So we go through those pretty fast. Okay, you can't go back to school without buying a big box of chips. <laughs> can you? Probably uh, not. Did you have Just to pick? Just the healthy people can, but we can. <laughs> you guys, our kids love to have these little bags of chips to snack on. And every time we buy these, for those of you who are new, we are gonna ask you what, which one you are feeling right now. Okay. Okay, and which one are you So doing? what do we got? Okay, we've so got... We got the crunchy Cheetos, the chili cheese Fritos, the blue Doritos, the barbecue, the sun chips, and the Lay's salt and vinegar. Ooh. Ooh, what are we feeling? Okay. Okay, count to three. Okay, are you ready? Ready, one, one two, two, three. Chili! Cheetos. Oh! I thought we were gonna be the same dang. this time. Chili. <laughs> you were said ch and I said ch and Dang. it didn't happen. The chili che those chili Fritos are actually really they good. They are actually really delicious. Put those inside of a tortilla with a little bit of Taco Bell um, taco, so taco sauce and add a little bit of beef if you want. You get a little yeah, yeah. cheesy beefy bur Frito burrito. Okay, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's eat. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, we grab this. Kids will have these for snacks during their school sessions and stuff. So there's those. Oh, it comes 50 in a box. Wow. That's a lot. Okay, another snack, Cheez-Its. The kids love to snack on these, especially Ashlyn, especially Emberland. They love their Cheez-Its. Okay, next thing that we always, always get is rotisserie chicken from Costco or Sam's Club. 
I like Sam's Club's chicken better. Because there is a difference. Costco's to me, it's good, but it's very pink. Does that make sense? Like at the ends, like it's pink. It's not good, right? Okay. <laughs> pink chicken bad, right? Okay. <laughs> but do you know what I'm saying? Like it's a little bit more like not the whole chicken, but like around the edges when you pull the chicken. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> they know what I'm talking about if they've done it before. It's a little bit more pink, and I just don't like it. This one is not. Okay. Okay, Mike. I don't know. <laughs> Danny doesn't know what I'm talking about. But anyways, I usually like Sam's Club's rotisserie better. Okay, so this is a substitute. I actually tried to order. They had like a trio of different pastas. Um, I'm kind of bummed because this is penne pasta. We don't really use that a lot. Oh, that's good. But penne is good. Yeah, so... you get some Alfredo sauce and yeah. some chicken. Get some Alfredo sauce and some chicken. <laughs> I don't know. You were snapping. Yeah. So, so why'd you say mind. why'd you say chicken? Chicken. I don't know. <laughs> is that fancy it's for chicken? Good. Yes, it's my uh, fancy language. Oh, it's Italian. Like we want some chicken. <laughs> we'll take some chicken. <laughs> Like, get out of my restaurant. <laughs> so anyways, we got penne pasta. We're gonna use it in some way. Okay guys, just in time, just in the nick of time, the last of our noodles ran out, so we got more. <laughs> and you guys know, we make some tacos out of our ramen noodles. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Yes. It wasn't even that long ago, but yes. We have made actual taco shells with ramen noodle noodles. Go check out, I think it was like a TikTok hack, TikTok hack yes, video. It was a TikTok hack video. Go check that out because it was actually really so delicious. Good. Yeah. And I love the ramen noodles for my prison food, my <laughs> jailhouse prison food. Don't go check out that video. <laughs> Comment down below if you actually liked that video. I know there's about- There were some. There was, there was like 10 of you who liked it. There was 10 who liked it, but none of them made it. Oh. Maybe they did. I we'll don't see. Know. <laughs> we'll see. But anyways, we're stocked up just in case. This is kind of like, I feel like we hit the ramen noodles like when we start really running out of food. We're like, the kids are like, we have nothing to eat. And I'm like, there's ramen noodles. <laughs> Go make some ramen. <laughs> ramen for the save. Ramen for the save. So anyways, these usually last a little while in our house because it's not like an everyday college type situation, you know? All right, you guys, so we are almost up to the fridge items. <laughs> I know, my like, dang, we got a big old haul here. So, pasta. We just need a pasta sauce, we always need it. I actually really like this one, the tomato and basil. I like it more, we used to get like the Prego stuff, which we still do sometimes, but I really like this one. It's very delicious. Okay, you guys, I got the fridge items out. So, this is what we got. Boom, cheese. <laughs> cheese and mochis. Wow. We've got the Colby Amadre Jack and mozzarella cheese. So, boom, boom, boom. Comes in little two packs, um, which actually I kind of like better than the big, huge bag that we usually get at Costco, I feel like. Just because it saves room, weird, but it just saves room in the fridge. Really? Because those big packs are like, I mean, they're big. Oh. I mean, you could always separate them into different bags, but why when you can just do this? Nice. You know what I'm saying? And they're resealable, so I like that. So there's those. And then the other thing I got, this was actually a replacement because they were out of the ones that we normally get. Ooh. But these still look good. These are the, well, what? Oh. These are just cheese. Huh? No nuts. <laughs> He's got no nuts. So we'll see. I like the cheese though, but I do like the almonds and the peanuts and stuff. Yeah. So anyways. I like the cranberries. The oh, dry and the cran, the cran raspberry or whatever they are. Um, so these are just cheese snacks. Wow. So we got cheese, cheese, and more cheese. So anyways, you guys, it looks like these come with three, six, nine. There's nine total. And then there's all those different flavors of cheese in there. So. Oh. They'll still be good. And then, of course, you guys, we know we love our lazy salad. We call these lazy salads because they're all put together for you pretty much already. Caesar salad kits. I got two of them because our family loves Caesar salad. We just love it. So there's those. And then, of course, string cheese for the kids. Oh, my gosh. Number. I know. Cheese, cheese, more Wait, cheese. Wait, why are you having these cheese. cravings? I'm scared I'm now. This is for the kids. Wow. For the kids. Cravings. <laughs> Shoot. Splinter. Are you a peeler or are you a... Biter. Oh, don't bite don't the cheese. Don't bite it, guys. Don't bite it. Okay, so there's that. <clears throat> I'm just going to stick with the theme of cheese. Are you serious? We got five cheese tortellini. <laughs> 
which this is so delicious. And I actually think it's cheaper at Sam's Club than it is like at a regular grocery store because I have to buy two separate packs and it usually costs a lot. Oh. But Elijah loves this for like I make my homemade Alfredo Ooh. and all that. So I grabbed this and then that's what the heavy cream is for as well for that recipe for my Alfredo sauce. So there's those. And then you guys, Lunchables. It's not back to school without <laughs> Here's the kids' first day of school lunches. You're welcome, kids. No, I'm have fun. Make them a really good lunch and breakfast on their first day of school. But this is just a good snack. Second day of school. Thing. Yeah, second day of school. Yeah, why not? Okay, so we got bacon, you guys, fully cooked. You guys know we love to get our bacon fully cooked because it's just so easy and it's actually really, really good. Then we go through a lot of eggs in our house, you guys. We do a lot of like, like I said before, like French toast or scrambled eggs or over easy eggs. The kids love eggs. So we got two big things of eggs. And then a big thing of sour cream. This is another thing we go through. I like to make like my ranch dips and stuff with this. And Danny's making a weird face in the background. Because uh, I'm thinking she dips her cauliflower oh, in Oh yeah, that's Ugh. true. And my carrots and different things like that. But, wow. but we also use this for like tacos and different things like that. So, or recipes, it just depends. Okay, next up, just a few freezer items, you guys. I always get this big, huge 10 bag of chicken. Frozen chicken, because we go through a lot of chicken. We do a lot of crock pot, especially with school coming up. I'm going to be throwing a lot of things in the crock pot so that it's all ready to go by dinner time. So, got stocked up on those. Honestly, I could probably do two bags, but I think they're like 20 bucks a bag. So it's kind of a lot, but anyways, we got one bag for now. Then we got some burritos, 24 burritos, bean and beef and bean in here. So just like a quick go-to lunch or whatever for the kids that they want it. So there's that. And then we also got some ground beef because I cook a lot of things with the beef too. Wow. So this comes with six. This is 80, 20. They didn't have 90, 10 like we usually like, but this will do. And then the other thing, another quick go-to easy lunch if I want to just throw it in the oven, we got the, thick, oh no, this is the thin. The thin and crusty, remember Mark, four pack. <laughs> thin and crusty? <laughs> Did I say crusty? <laughs> Okay. Um, First you said thick, then you're like thin and talk. crusty. Hey, you get over here and do my job. This oh, is I, I, I've done a haul before. I've done a haul. <laughs> One or two. Uh. <laughs> so, anyways, thin and crispy four pack pepperoni pizzas. These are actually really good. We bought them at our last Sam's Club grocery haul and. They're delicious. Yes. I really liked these. So. And speaking of pizza, you guys know on our Foodies channel, we are doing a pizza tour around Vegas. We are tasting all of the Las Vegas pizzas. Yes. And we are on episode number four. Just the other day, you guys, we went to Blaze Pizza. So go check out and see what we thought of their pepperoni pizza. Yeah, go check it out. I'm not giving any hints. Okay, so there's that. And then the last two things we got, you guys, were the two big packs of water. I think like 40 waters in each pack. So we got that. We usually do get like our paper towels and toilet paper there, but we didn't need them right now. So we didn't grab those this time, but that is usually where we get them. It's just more bang for your buck. Hey you guys, so grocery haul giveaway time right here, right now. We're ready to give away some money. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm exhausted after that one. Shoot. <laughs> so we are going to be doing $50 this round, you guys. So. 50. So should we do two $25 or one 50? Okay, Ooh. let's do, I say we do two 25s okay. because it gives more people a chance to win. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so we are gonna be doing two $25. It's either gonna be Visa gift card, we will Venmo you, we will PayPal you, however you guys want us to send it, that is what we're gonna do. And all you guys have to do is go over to our Phillips Fan Bam Foodies channel, go comment on our Blaze Pizza review. review and comment your favorite part of the video and then hashtag grocery haul giveaway. That's all you have to do to enter into the giveaway. So go do that. But first, before you guys do that, 
make sure you go check out Christy Gior and her amazingly cute family. Go check them out, show them love. You guys, I know fan bammers pull through every single time. I wanna go over there to her video and look in the comments and I wanna see fan bammers are, I'm a fan bammer. Yeah, came from the fan came bam. Came from the fan bam. Whatever you guys wanna Whatever. say. Whatever, just show the love. Known that you guys are there from the fam bam. Let her know, show her the love. You guys, they just moved, they're trying to get settled. Let her know she's got some friends supporting her. Go check out her channel, it's all linked down in the description. Huge thank you to Christy for this awesome collab. You guys, we're excited to do more and that's it, you guys. That is it for us tonight. I know this is probably a long haul. Let us know down below. If oh, and if you didn't know, Tina's pretty loud. Oh. <laughs> Why are you telling people that now? Oh, well, by the time we got through, yeah. But I'm just like, just to kind of, that's our like disclaimer. That's our disclaimer. Yeah, so we Maybe don't want to see it in the comments. We could have done that at the beginning, but <laughs> we figure you guys probably already know. And our house echoes. I think it's more our house yeah, than it is me. I, I think it is too. <laughs> don't tell anybody. Um, okay, so that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and don't forget, choose your day. day.